All right, guys, today let's do a start level calibration. Let's get to it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, so first thing, let's uh, get this vial mounted. Uh, what I want to do, I've got my little hemispherical washer right here, and I want to put a little tiny bit of this uh, CMD extreme pressure lube on there. If I can get some to come out, it ain't gonna take a whole lot. I think I'll just put it inside of this. That should be plenty. And that's probably really not even necessary, but it can't hurt nothing. That goes on the stud side of things here, right? And then we just put our screw over here on this side. Run that down. And put our other nut on. And then that's got that mounted. All right, so the next order of business is you need something that is uh, reasonably level and pretty good and flat. I mean, uh, ideally it should be done on a, like a surf surface plate. Uh, I don't really have one. I just have this piece of granite backsplash. So we'll, we'll pretend that's really, really flat. I don't think it's super flat, but uh, it's not too horrible. And, uh, you know, this is just a... It's an old, uh, I think it's a good L Pratt, but uh, this is a just a regular carpenter's level, right? It's pretty good. Uh, it's between the lines, right? But I mean, we know this isn't super accurate anyway, and there's a bunch of rust or something on here anyway, so we can't really trust that at all. So how can you do this if you don't have a flat level surface? Well... This is one of the nice things about a about a level. So anytime you're doing this kind of work, you know, you want to make sure everything's nice and flat. Or clean, sorry. Dust it off. All right. And to sort of min minimize any errors, I'm gonna just kind of mark the footprint of this. I got it up against the edge. And I'll just mark that. So we know we're putting it back exactly at the same spot every time. So now we'll open it up. And um, I've already got this thing kind of kind of dialed in a little bit here. Let's see how close it is. It's showing one line off of level. I don't think you can see that in the video. Let me let me move you in a little bit closer for this. Alright, I got this thing kind of zoomed in here pretty close. So you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see the graduations. So this, this thing here, I had to move it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I got it leveled back out fairly all right, but we'll see. So right now the level is reading about two marks to the left here. So if this, level was set up exactly it should still read two marks to the left right so we don't need it to actually read level and that's kind of the beauty of this is that we're just going to compare you know the reading we get with it this direction with the reading we get this way so you just flip it in for in put it back on our marks hey look at that it's right on two marks to the left so that's in calibration. Okay, so let me show you what, what we do, you know, how you get to that. Because that's not very helpful, is it? Believe it or not, that was kind of an accident. 
that screw must have not gotten moved since the last time it was in there. So I'm going to just reach in here and throw this thing out a little bit. Pardon the hand. And when you tighten down the screw, you know, don't, you don't have to kill this thing. Just snug it up a little bit. Okay. So we're about still kind of stabilizing. It's actually, well, it's touching the, the center line here on the, on the left side, but there's a little gap. You know, I think, uh, as temperature changes, that bubble will shrink and grow, you know, if it, you know, depending on what the pressure is inside of this thing. If it gets hot, that alcohol in there expands. It's going to probably compress that bubble a little bit. Anyway, so let's flip it around. Like I say, it's touching the line here on the left. We would hope for it to be touching the line on the left again when we flip it. Let's see where it is. So it's way off. It's about, uh, we're seeing one, two, about three and a half marks. So what we're going to need to do is we've got to lift this side to try to get back that direction, but about half of the amount, right? So uh, there's always a little bit of trial and error on this here. So I'm just going to break this loose on this side. I suppose I should do it over here so you can see, see me making the adjustment. And my wrench don't really fit in here very well, so. Reach in there, just turn that by hand a little bit. And then you gotta tighten it back down. You can't make, you know, accurate readings with that thing loose. All right, see where we are here. So now we're reading just a little bit to that direction of, of the center line. So let's flip it out this way. And I believe I've made the adjustment in the wrong direction. So it's actually gone further that way. I can't even see the end of the, uh, the bubble anymore. That's my bad. I guess we got to go down. And I checked the thread on this here. These are uh, 40 threads per inch. So... It's a very sensitive screw. Okay, now we're reading a little bit more than two and a half, uh, two marks to the left. So let's flip it around. Okay, so that's reading one mark to the left. So that's getting a little bit closer. All right, so that means, yeah, we need to go down still just a little tiny bit. So I'll put it back in my original spot. I'm just gonna turn it just the tiniest little bit kind of funny these my wrenches don't fit inside of there when it's getting close to the the right spot set of ignition wrenches I guess would be really handy for this all right so that's showing three and here I go going the wrong direction again so that's showing about a half a mark. So 
So it means we need to go up. Back two and a half. All right, one and a half. So it needs to go up just a tiny little touch. That is almost right on two marks above level. All right, let that settle down. And that's right on two. So we need to move it up just very, very, very little. It's, it's almost on. All right, so that is showing just a little tiny bit more than two marks. Flip her around one more time. I think we might have it here. Yeah, that's got it. So let me, let me move you in really close to the bubble here so you can see. showing up pretty good there so I'm gonna flip it in for in let that thing settle for a second all right and there it is so we calibrated our level on an unlevel surface so you don't need to send it off to stir it and have it calibrated in fact, uh, whenever you go to use this level, this is something you should be checking. Uh, test it to make sure it's, it's level before you, you know, trust that. Uh, it's pretty easy to verify it. You know, like I said, just find any surface that's, that's flat. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're, you've got a, a surface plate or something like that around. But if not, you know, hey, maybe you just put it on the counter. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you like seeing this kind of content, uh, please click on the horizontal mill and subscribe. Uh, that way you can see more. And uh, please check out the videos that are coming up down below. We'll see you guys around.